This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Acadia Denali. It is a 2011 GMC Acadia Denali Sport Utility. It's four door, it's four wheel drive. It's a 3.6 liter uh, V6. Um, it is all wheel drive actually. Uh, this is a nice rig. It has 59,000 miles. It's a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in Rancho Cucamonga, which is LA. Um, it is on a salvage title due to theft, not collision. If you look at the before pictures, we have uh, four pictures of it before it left uh, Rancho, and it looks just like this, except now it's clean. Um, when we get them here, uh, we do an inspection, and the inspection looks like this when it's almost perfect. This is just all the equipment it has in it. That's what we did to it. Oil change, air filter, cabin A, C filter, and a battery. Um, this thing is sweet. Uh, it's got tons going on. There's no way in this video that I'm going to get all of the buttons pushed and demonstrate everything, but I'm going to try. Um, I, it would be impossible. Uh, please watch, the, uh, look at the, uh, the uh, photo gallery when you see it. And click on the little magnifying glass you'll see if you want to see something up close. I'll point at anything that's there. It's got a little thing in the chrome there. A little touch up there, a little touch up there. I think there's another one somewhere yeah, right here. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be pretty nitpicky here because it's pretty hard to find stuff that's wrong. The tires look like they're about 50% tread. Just a really pretty car. I thought it was interesting that they have little controls in the uh, in the uh, cargo area for the radio. You can tune the radio and turn it up. So if you're in the back of the vehicle and you're tailgating or whatever, I think I saw something down here. This little piece comes off. There's a tow package behind there. There's a little chunk right there. I'll touch that. Anyway, this thing, I was telling you this is a salvage tile due to theft. Basically, the attorneys for the insurance companies don't want to have anything coming back on them. So they get a salvage title. That way, if, when we they sell it to us and we sell it to you, if you kill yourself in it, uh, they can just say, hey, it has nothing to do with us. We sold it on a salvage title. That implies no warranty at all. And basically, that's their liability production. So I'm going to lock it. Then I'm going to start it. There you go. Remote start. Unlock the doors. Put the key in the ignition. There you go. Now the key is in the ignition. It was already running. There you go. Let's see. Let's see the here. There's your uh, 59,029 miles. Give you a little uh, information here. This is the Kelly on it. 59,024 miles. Suggested retail price is 27,886. It's got tons of equipment on this thing. I mean, it's just loaded, loaded, loaded. The only thing it doesn't have is DVD, which is probably a good thing because that's beyond annoying. Here's the Carfax. Branded title due to theft. I'll show you that in just a second. Their adjusted car tax value is $25,626. And the theft is the reason for the deduction, obviously. There's your service records, according to Carfax, what happened there. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Everything's going fine. And then on 11 12, it gets stolen and recovered theft. It's a total loss because the victim was paid off and the salvage title was issued at the same time to the insurance company because now they're the owners and they don't have the truck and they recovered it and now it's ours all right so there's your uh paperwork i'll put that in the uh, glove box open up the hood here i love cars like this very little to explain you know what i'm saying there we go just kind of show stuff off. 
That is about as boring as it gets. And boring is good. There you go. Beautiful. All right. So you got captain's chairs back here. All this stuff folds forward if you want it to. I've got one hand here. These seats slide forward and the whole thing tucks up. You've got air controls back here. See that? You change the temperature back there, there. Then you've got power. You can do the radio through headphones back here also. All right, turn that down. This is a non-moving roof. That's just fixed glass. The roof itself does not move, which is the way it's supposed to be. It's just for the looks. Let's see. There's your window. Just to demo one seat, let me pull this thing like this. See how that does that, right? And then if you go like, let's see. I forget which way it is. One of these settings, this thing folds up, and then this thing goes forward, it lays flatter. All right. One handed is kind of hard to do. There's your past your front window, door locks. This stuff down here on the floor. Seats are in excellent condition. They are air conditioned seats and heated seats, front seats. Back. Oh, they don't go up and down on the passenger seat. They're not supposed to go up and down. Only the driver's seat. And you do have a full manual and all the stuff that came with it. A very nice uh, weather guard um, mats. Those are actually pretty expensive. All right. Let's see. There's that. Hear the radio? Turn it up. Like a change. There you go. So there's your uh, radio in the back here. And then these seats will fold forward. Obviously, you just pull on this thing, lay it down forward. I just don't want to do it one handed here. Hit this button, that closes. All right, this is your driver rear window up and down. Let's see, let's see if I can do it. How do we do this thing? Oh, here it is. Yeah, and then this thing slides forward. There you go, it goes like that. And that would get people in and out of the back seat easier. That's what that seat does too when you do this. And then you can get people in and out of the back. Master. There. See? It's pretty simple, right? All right. Let's see. Driver window. Passenger window. Driver rear window. Passenger rear window. Let's see. Mirrors. Out. In. Up. Down. Other side. Out. In. Up down you fold them in so they're both folded in and you fold them out like that let's see what else door locks okay driver's seat forward back this seat does have the ability to go up and down and down the seat back forward and back that works fine tilt wheel right here See. All right. Radio. Navigation. Put in reverse. There's your uh, backup camera in reverse. And we're back at park. Audio system. There's that. XM. AM. CD. I guess there's nothing in auxiliary, is there? That would be the input for the radio. All right, let's see. There's your steering controls. Volume up. Change the station. Attention. 
the boss that needs report. All right, so there you go. That's your radio controls. Let me get my seatbelt on. All right, you got this guy up here. Let's see. There's your moonroof switch. And closed. And this one does move back and forth because it is not a fixed glass like the rear one is. The rear one is just for looks, okay? Let's see. And then we have cruise control here. Bang and bang. That's that. And let's see. Air conditioned seats. And then we have heated seats. There's the air conditioned seats on that side. And on this side, there's the heated seats. There you go. There. Make sure this is off too. That's off. All right, good. So now that's all working. And we have rear air. The air is working ice cold right now. I can tell you that for sure because it's very, very, very warm in Tucson. It's about 85. And it's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Not to rub it in, but this is why we're here. All right, uh, let's see. I'm gonna take this thing, take pictures, and while I'm doing that, let me turn the air down because it's blowing about a million miles an hour. I'll talk about this. If, you, if you're gonna come to Tucson to drive it home, which I highly recommend, the weather's great, and this would be a great road trip car. Um, you are gonna pay tax, dock fees, and a restore fee. You cannot get plates or insurance on a salvage title, which is what we have now. We have to take it to the cops to get a level three inspection done, then we get a restored salvage title, then we can issue you temporary plates to drive away with, and you can get insurance. So obviously that's mandatory. If you're gonna to come to Tucson, that's mandatory. We charge $200 to do that for you before you come. It's a minimum of four hours out of a bar time, up to 10 hours dealing with it. That's why we charge that. 50 goes to the state, 150 goes to us to cover our guys sitting next to the sink at the curb. They used to let us sit there. Uh, I mean, actually they used to let us leave it there. And now they require us to sit there with it. Um, there's a $250 dock fee, then there's taxes. Taxes are 2% city tax in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. So if your state tax rate is Alaska's, there's a zero. So if Alaska came here, they'd pay 2% tax, $250 dock fee, and 200 to restore the title. If your state tax rate is 6%, you'd pay 8%, and then you'd add the 200 to restore and 250 uh, dock fee. Um, if you pay by wire and ship, all you're obligated to pay is the agreed upon price, uh, and that's it. Unless you want us to restore the title for you before it ships out, I strongly recommend you have us do that unless you're sure you can get it done. Uh, all we're gonna provide you with when we, if you ship without us uh, having restored it first is the uh, bill of sale, the Arizona salvage title, and the uh, vehicle itself, okay? That's it. So please make sure that you can get it done. If you can't get it done and you're not 100% sure, have us do it, okay? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Deposit, deposit is $500. Once we receive your deposit, we have a deal. We'll put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelkinetics.com uh, and uh, it'll be yours until then it is for sale. Please make sure you get that deposit in. This is uh, going to be a smoking deal. It's exactly the same as any other Acadia would be except for the title. There's nothing going on here, okay? So somebody's going to save a ton of money because of the title. And that's it, all right? Uh, warranty speech. It's out of warranty by a few miles. Actually, it wouldn't be technically. Uh, but it would be by a couple of year by a year. Uh, but because it's on a salvage title, uh, they will uh, they will uh, do away with the warranty at GM anyway. So there will be no warranty on this vehicle. And basically, if it comes to you and you need to get something fixed, go get it fixed. We are not fixing anything. We're not writing checks. Uh, we give you tons of information, uh, tons, lots of pictures title kelly carfax everything there's some at some point you're responsible you have to take some risks just like we do uh, when we buy them and it's your car if you need to be sure that nothing's going to break on a vehicle you got to buy a brand new one and then you got a couple years of uh, bumper to bumper and then you got a couple years of powertrain and then you're on your own and you owe 25 or 30 grand on this thing and it'll be three or four years old that's what would happen if you bought a new one okay um, you're saving a pound of money. Some of the money you're gonna save will have to go on a repair eventually. It could be next week, or it could be four years from now, but something will break, because everything breaks, all right? 
Anyway, keep it real. Check out our car. Thank you for your time.